All right, more than a month ago, rushing water, as you may recall, pushed a Bellevue home off its foundation and left it dangling on a hillside. Well, today it's been demolished. And this comes after an agreement between the city and the homeowners just weeks ago. And Fox 13's Dan Griffin is live in Somerset neighborhood where other homes have been red tagged due to the unsafe situation. Dan, good morning. Well, good morning to you. Yeah, that demolition work started probably about 10 till 8, and it didn't take very long for the house to finally just kind of collapse. They were talking about using two excavators to try to push the house together to make it collapse. Watch this as it happens. And it really was just so quick. It was January 17th at about 4 a.m. Neighbors woke up. A frightening flow of water was coming down their street. The home was pushed off its foundation. It partially collapsed. There was a woman and a dog inside, and many neighbors were evacuated. Since then, the city had sued the family, trying to get in there to demolish the structure, but the homeowners wanted access to their belongings before it was demolished. Well, now with the agreement in place, this, demolish, uh, this demolition work, rather, was able to take place today, but we talked with the homeowners involved back in January as this all happened. Take a listen. We don't even, where do we go? Where do we go? Something like this will take years to sort out, you know, uh, the insurance and it, it, can you rebuild? Is the lot rebuildable? You know, I don't know. It'll be years, but in the meantime, just one day, one day. Now, I'm told the homeowners were able to watch all of this happen from a safe distance. I can imagine this was a very emotional thing for them to see, you know, years and decades of memories and belongings in that home as it came down this morning. As far as this work, I'm told it will continue, at least according to the city, through the beginning of March. We'll be here through the morning tracking this developing story and bringing it to you as we get it. For now, reporting live in Bellevue, Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News. All right, Dan, thank you.